So uh, here, here's what here's what the research says about lottery winners. And and this really, to me, is really fascinating and interesting and powerful information because it beats the myth that how wealthy you are is heavily dependent on how much money somebody gives you. Uh, it also fits into Black people's quest for reparations. Like, I believe we should get reparations. How many of you, give me a guess if you agree, that we deserve reparations. Give me a guess. How many of you, if you say no, I'm looking for a no. I'm looking for one no. How many of you believe that we deserve reparations? Put a yes in the chat. If you, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm looking for a no. Okay. I see a lot of yes. I see so many yeses, Kathy and Cheryl and Lois and Robbie. Okay. I just see yeses. So, so reparations is a really interesting. Oh, wait, I saw a no. Okay. The kid, Hans, you sound white. Are you trolling? Are you the trolling white guy in, in the class today? Because the kid, Hans, that don't even sound like a black name, does it? Hans. Hans is not a black name. Yeah, that's okay. We like you, Hans. Thank you for your contribution. All right. So anyway, <laughs> I'm being silly. All right. So, uh, so here's the deal. He says, I'm black. Oh, Han, okay. The kid, Hans. So you are black. Okay. Well, that's okay. You know what? And it's okay. We respect diversity of perspective. So I'm not at, at all going to. Uh, minimize what you have to say. So thank you, Hans, for your contribution. I appreciate you. All right. Uh, thank you, brother. Okay. All right. So here's what, um, here's what's interesting about this is, and why I linked the lottery conversation to reparations is that to some extent, if reparations were, were to happen the way I believe it should happen, which it's not going to, they're not going to do it the way I want to do it. Um, it would be like winning the lottery. It would be an, an era where you would suddenly see all this wealth gush into the black community and it would be an economic boom unlike anything we've ever seen. And, and I do believe it's possible. I think right now it's it's difficult. Right now it's not probable. But at some point the world may change. You never know how the world's going to change. And uh, just last night on my podcast, I had this guy on, um, a, a nice young brother. What's his name? His name is Jamal Green. Jamal Green. Jamal is 29 years old. He's an activist in Chicago. And he actually ran for mayor of Chicago at the age of 27 and did a really good job. And I was super impressed with him, largely because uh, because one at one form of activism that he did was he actually went to Chase Bank and he basically said, <clears throat> y'all owe us reparations. And he said, you're not making any loans to uh, commu black communities in Chicago. You're redlining the hell out of us. You're blocking us out of economic possibility and opportunity. And he really, I mean, he had those suckers on their heels. Like they, they actually banned him from the, 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 all the chase banks throughout the country, but they did eventually pay up. They did eventually start to make more loans. They probably didn't do everything they need to do, but he got their attention. And I thought that what he did was absolutely perfect and, and amazing. So anyway, <clears throat> um, the reason I liked what he did is because that's the right idea. That reparations is not just something that needs to be paid by the government. Write this down. Keep this in your mind. When reparations comes up, remember, reparations does not need to just be paid by the government. In fact, the government is probably the least equipped to really, really pay reparations at the level that it's needed because your government's $35 trillion in debt. Reparations should also be paid by these trillion-dollar corporations that have money to burn. You know, Apple is a $3 trillion company. Why can't y'all drop a hundred billion dollars into the pot? You know, Microsoft is a two to three trillion dollar company. Why can't y'all drop a hundred billion dollars into the pot? All these massive banks, these you know, th that can provide access to hundreds of billions of dollars in capital. Not even, not even give money away. Just give loans. Give some low interest loans. Lord Jesus, do you understand that if I could, if we convinced these banks? To just do, say, $2 trillion in low interest loans to the black community, that would expand black wealth. In, that would double black wealth in less than a generation. Do you understand that? So they don't even have to really give money away. This is not just something where they have to give it like a grant. I mean, they should give money away. They're supposed to. But it can also be an investment.